In user-centered design, we advocate for the user. We aim to understand their wants and needs and to design a product that meets their expectations. The process of user experience design relies on the standards within the metaphor or medium where the application will be used, knowledge of the trade and our experience as individuals designing and developing other interfaces, the many best practices that are written about, a range of heuristic studies about user practices, instinct, and directly evaluating if we find the design usable ourselves, and various forms of user research. Let's look at some principles regarding what makes a user experience great. KISS is an acronym for the design principle, Keep It Simple Stupid. The principle is that most systems work best if they're kept simple rather than made complicated. Simplicity is a key goal in design. The KISS principle is also supported by Hicks Law. Hicks Law describes the time it takes for a person to make a decision as a result of the possible choices available. Increasing the number of choices will increase the decision time. So the fewer factors a user has to consider to make a decision, the more friendly the experience. Consistency is critical to a UI being intuitive. By being consistent with semantics and interactivity, the user can gain confidence in how to use your product with each action they take. The experience then becomes intuitive and learning requires no effort. Fitz Law says there is a connection between length of time with size and distance. The relevance in mobile design is that the further and smaller the target is, the more difficult it is for the user to hit it correctly. So this calls attention to what is efficient placement of an element in any given view. And on that subject, the law of proximity states that the user will perceive elements near to each other as related. Supporting the notion of consistency is the mental model. The mental model is defined as someone's thought process about how something works. This principle says that it's easier for users to understand and learn something new if it's modeled on something they already understand. The principle of conditioning says that when someone is rewarded for an action they take, they'll do it again. This relates to how the user feels about the experience. If the user feels good using the app, they'll use the app again. Let's also look at the 80-20 rule. This rule says that a high percentage of users will perform a low percentage of actions. When we determine what the small percentage of actions are, we can then design to emphasize the related elements within the visual hierarchy to make it easier for the user to identify them. With these principles in mind, there are related questions that we'll explore further throughout the course sections, and they include, what does it mean to keep it simple? How can we leverage proximity and Fitz Law to create an excellent experience? How does consistency work best in a mobile experience? In what ways can we leverage the mental model and conditioning to create an excellent UX? And how do we identify which are the actions the user will perform? To create a great experience, we also need to design for common problems. A great design considers not just how the experience will accomplish goals, but also how to handle situations when something goes wrong. Things like when a user makes a mistake or when connectivity is lost or slow. By now you should have a much stronger understanding of what UX design is. When designing a mobile application, don't make the mistake of neglecting the user needs by focusing strictly on a slick UI design or company goals. Putting the user experience first will create an application that users appreciate and want to use. User experience should cater to the user while still supporting business goals.